welcome back to my channel. Today I have the Zara sale haul that I promised you guys. I got really lucky and I walked into Zara literally the day the sale started, which I believe was last Thursday, and I scored so good. I bought I think like five or six things for a total of $113, which is I think a bargain, especially for like quality of Zara. So I'm very excited to show you guys. The sale is still on online, but I recommend going to your local store. Obviously, if it's safe, it's incredible. Zara has become one of my favorite stores to shop online. I like check every single day because I have the app on my phone, which is so dangerous. So the way Zara is doing their sale, um, I think they're extending the returns um, because you can't try this stuff on in store. So you just kind of have to like wing it. You can't try it on like outside of the dressing rooms. You can't try it on at all. So you just kind of have to go with it. Um, thankfully, I think everything I got worked out. I honestly can range anywhere between a small and a large at Zara. They like to keep me on my toes. I'll tell you the sizing of everything that I get in case you are similar in size to me. I'm typically a size 27, 28 in bottoms and then a small medium in dresses. But let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I got is this shirt. The shirt is so like on trend right now with the whole pointed neck lace detailing. I paid $19.99 for this and I think it's so cute. I got stuff on it already, so that's great. I haven't even worn it, but that was exciting. Here is the top that I got. I think it fits perfectly as you can see. This is what the size small fits like. I don't know, I just think it's really flattering. I like the puff, I like the collar. There's nothing I don't like about it. And I'm listening to you guys. You told me to put my hair behind my shoulders when I show you guys stuff, and that's what we're doing. The next thing I got was this dress. This dress was now normally $70, and I got it for $25.99. I got it in a size medium. And I just think this is like the cutest white dress ever. I love the detailing on it. It's got eyelet material down here and just this ruffle right around the neck. I think this dress will look super cute with like the typical dad Velcro sandals. Chanel ones, if you have the Chanel ones, those would look really cute with this, but <laughs> I don't. So I'm just gonna wear my Tevas. Look at that price tag. Ooh. Here's the white dress that I got. I think it's so cute. Um, I don't have anyone to button the back right now. So, well, Cody, but he's on a call. So <sighs> it's aggressive. I took a risk with one item and it actually ended up working out pretty well. And let me just stress to you guys, like how irrelevant a size is to the world. Like you can be a small somewhere and you could be a large somewhere else. Look at the garment, buy it. If it looks like it's gonna fit you, who cares? Not me. So this dress is a large, but when I held it up, I was like, that really doesn't look that large to me. And I don't like stuff being tight around my like hips area. Personally, I just don't find that flattering because I've always been like curvier around there. And this actually fits me pretty well, I would say. I mean, a medium I feel like would be too tight around the stomach area. This is normally $49.90 and I got it for $29. was really exciting. And this is a dress that I actually had on alert on the Zara app whenever it was first added to the site because I really, really wanted it. It's got shoulder pads and it's a denim dress, like hello. And it sold out really quick. And so when I saw that this was the only one available at the Zara that I was at, I was like, okay, we're just gonna... We're gonna gamble, we're gonna get it. I'm excited. And that just paired with like New Balance sneakers is gonna look so cute. Here is the dress. As you can see, it definitely is a little big right through here and stuff, but I think if I get my mom to tailor it, it will look so good and just like, look like it was made for me. Like, I mean, hello, there's a freaking shoulder pad moment. But as you can see, there's definitely a loose, but I think it would be too tight right here if I hadn't gotten a large. This wasn't on sale, but I saw it there and I this keeps going in and out of stock on their site. So if you are at a Zara and you see the bodysuits, the infamous bodysuits that are so soft, I have it in white and this orange yellow color. I picked it up in this nude color. This was $19.90. Okay, the next thing is my last clothing item and it is a pair of pants. I own this pair of pants in so many different types and colors and everything like that. I was talking to my friend Jen about this 
And this type of denim pant, the 1975 baggy jeans from Zara, they can be anywhere from like, some will be too tight, some will be too small. So you have to like really just kind of roll with it and try it on. And obviously you can't try it on in stores, but just go with your gut, man. I got this in a size four and this is the baggy jeans. I like the dark rinse, but I'm even more excited about the steel. The thing with sales is I get like swept up and I over purchase. You should have seen the mound that I had in my hands and I was like, wait, Sarah, are you really gonna wear all this? Like more than once since I was like, nope. So I had to like stick to the, the basics in my mind. These were $39.90 and look at how much I got them for. Can you even see that? Oh yeah. Oh. Okay, here are the pants. I'm so glad I got them in a size four. They fit perfectly, they're flattering. I love them, yay. And the final thing that I got was this. This is a necklace. It's got little cherries on it. Oh my God, that's so cute. This was normally $25.90 and it was $19 or $12.99. Um, I got it mainly for the little cherries. They're gonna be a good layering necklace. I like them a lot. And yeah. And I just wanted to hop on here to tell you guys that the zebra set that I showed you guys in my last haul, I did see that in the sales section. So, um, that sucks for me, but also great for you guys. I think it was marked down to $25. I paid $90, you can pay $50. You live and you learn. So that was my super quick Zara sale haul. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it gave you some inspiration when shopping the Zara sale. I cannot stress enough to not get overwhelmed and just buy stuff because it's on sale. I had that problem when I lived in LA and I'd go to sample sales. I would buy just way too much stuff when it was not necessary. Control yourself, but also swoop some good deals. So I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If it was, be sure you stick around by subscribing. Also, follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I will link all that stuff in the description box below. And until next time, I will talk to y'all later.